trilogy if you see back to back. It's yeah. Well, it's good. Yeah. Thunder Mifflin, this is Pam. Pam, it's Michael. Help me. I need help right now. Michael, what's wrong? I'm hurt. I have hurt myself. Oh my god. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, this is not looking good, Pam. Michael, do you need me to call an ambulance? No, I want you to pick me up. Okay. Oh, oh, wait a second. I thought you said that you were hurt. I am hurt. I hurt I'm my sorry. foot. Pam. I want to come to work, Pam. but I need you to come and pick me up. No, God. Hey, whoa, Michael. Oh, God. It's okay. It's oh. Jim. Just say again really loudly uh, what happened. Okay. I burned my foot very badly on my foreman grill, and I now need someone to come and bring me into work. You burned your foot on a foreman grill. I enjoy having breakfast in bed. I like waking up to the smell of bacon. Sue me. And since I don't have a butler, I have to do it myself. So, most nights before I go to bed, I will lay six strips of bacon out on my George Foreman grill. Then I go to sleep. When I wake up, I plug in the grill. I go back to sleep again. Then I wake up to the smell of crackling bacon. It is delicious. It's good for me. It's a perfect way to start the day. Today, I got up, I stepped onto the grill, and I clamped down on my foot. That's it. I don't see what's so hard to believe about that. Michael. Hey, David. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm eating tiramisu. Some of the chocolate powder just went down my throat. I'm stopping now. <coughs> Is this why you're calling me? No, 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 no. No. I'm calling you. <coughs> <coughs> sorry. OK. <clears throat> I'm calling because I'm an early bird and I'm a night owl, so I'm wise and I have worms. Oh, oh breakfast. I got your sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit. Yummy, yummy. Thank you. Ryan. What was the thing uh, you needed me to come in early for? Um, the sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit. But thank you. And why don't you just take a couple hours, office is yours, home alone, risky business, take your pants off, run around, whatever you ought to do. I'm just gonna take a nap in my car till work starts. Okay. Okay. Healthier. I'll watch those carbs. Dunder Mifflin, this is Aaron. He's not available right now. Uh huh. Yes. Sure. I'll give him a message when he gets up. Gets back. Michael had chicken pot pie for lunch. Actually, let me rephrase that. Michael had an entire chicken pot pie for lunch. And let me be more specific. Michael ate an entire family sized chicken pot pie for lunch and then he promptly fell asleep. So we're all trying to be very quiet so as to not wake him up before 5 p.m., which actually should be in about. Ten minutes. Okay, I'm gonna go in there and change the computer. Are you sure you can change his watch? I can do it. What do you need from me? Normally I don't condone leaving early, but I have an appointment with the horse doctor. How that horse became a doctor, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He's just a regular doctor who shoots your horse in the head when its leg is broken. <laughs> Like clockwork. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, uh oh. Oh, so funny. You had to be there. Oh, okay. Geography joke. <laughs> oh, my, oh, wow. Okay. All right. Let's all go home. Come on. See you all to Molly. See you later, Michael. <laughs> yeah. Attention Scranton Business Park. There will be complimentary pretzels available in the lobby from now until four o'clock. As a thank you to our loyal tenants. Once a year they bring in a little cart and they give away free pretzels. It's really not a big deal. To some people it is.
Productivity is important, but how can I be productive if I have this one little thing in my brain that I cannot get out? And that one little thing is a soft pretzel. So I'm just going to have my soft pretzel. I'll get to work, and I'm going to be super productive. Look out for me. Oh, shh. Hi, please tell me you have a sweet pretzel left. We do. Thank God. And we have 18 different toppings. We have sweet glaze, cinnamon sugar, chocolate, white chocolate, fudge, M&Ms, caramel dip, mint chip, chocolate chip, marshmallows, nuts, toffee nuts, coconut, peanut butter drizzle, Oreo, sprinkles, cotton candy bits, and powdered sugar. Is there any way that you could do all, all of them? The works, you got it. All right, thank you. That's interesting. Wow, it's a little early for ice cream. <laughs> it's never too early for ice cream, Jim. But we didn't have any ice cream. So this is mayonnaise and black olives. Oh, oh my It's God. comfort food, all right? God. Yo, Michael, this old Donna thing is going to be OK. You just stop beating yourself up. I know. Well, I hope you're right. We'll see what Dwight says. Why do we have to see what Dwight says? Because I have him investigating her. I'm waiting for a text up. Michael, no. No, 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 no. no. Undo that. Undo that. It's too late to undo it. I need to know. Otherwise, this thing is going to spiral out of a muck. Michael, OK, I'm, I'm going to talk straight to you because I think you need to hear it. Michael, God, this is so disgusting. stop eating it. Do you want to be happy? Look at you. You have a major self-destructive streak in you. Whoa. And you, you kind of torpedo every romantic relationship you're in. That's not true. You're right, I ruined everything. And I've known some wonderful women Holly, Carol, Jan. Helene. Helene? My mother. Oh. My mother, Helene. Oh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. All of, all of the greatest loves of my life. You should stop this. You excited? Mm-hmm. Everybody freaking out? Mm-hmm. Cool. Going to be fun. You're late. Thank you. But I forgive you because Doffet is my birthday. What's up? Oh, happy birthday. Ah, thank you, sir. Michael's birthday. Uh, it's pretty fun to watch, actually. He gets very excited, and then he eats a lot of cake. And then he runs around the office, then he has a sugar crash in the afternoon, and then he falls asleep. And that's when we get our work done. Somebody brought in donuts for my birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. Thanks. <clears throat> Who brought in donuts? Somebody got donuts for my birthday. Happy birthday. You didn't know it was my birthday. I guess I forgot. Well, I guess I forgot to give you a donut. You're serious? Mm. Yeah. It's your favorite song. Yeah, when I saw the radio, my birthday blows. Nobody even signed my birthday poster. Apparently, my mother is the only one who cares enough to send me anything. I probably care more than she does. You're making it worse. I bet Luke Perry's friends don't treat him like this. OK, Wendy, hot and juicy redhead. We'll give this a try. Hello, Wendy. This is Kevin's friend, Michael. This isn't Wendy. Oh, I'm sorry. Could you put her on, please? Dude, this is a Wendy's restaurant. Damn it, Kevin. Okay. Um, could I just have a Frosty and a baked potato, please? You have to come to the restaurant to order food. Well, I'll send somebody to pick it up. Just have it ready. It's ready now. Well, I'll put it aside. Um... <laughs>